temperatures. It is way, way too early for this, you guys. I heard them wake up and I'm like, what time is it? And of course, it's only 6.50 in the morning. Time to make a coffee. forward to every single morning coffee and hustle but I got these boxes at Target for my kids oh no that's not what I'm saying it's not even that early most people are usually going to work at this time we open it. but it's just no we're gonna do it one day at a time but it's just that it's so dark what out today? in the winter time yeah we're only gonna do day one hold on we gotta wait for Aviana she's making her bed I got these boxes at Target yeah, and they had like a buy two get one free and it's like 12 days of crafting. They're not like anything fancy, just like your basic crafts but I thought like it would be something fun for the kids to do. <laughs> so Baby. we're going to do day one right now since they're already awake. Yeah. Okay, usually in the mornings my kids will wake up super super early i'm talking like it just seems earlier i guess because like i said the sun isn't up yet when in reality it's kind of how they always been waking up around six usually sometimes earlier sometimes like 5 30 i'm like all right y'all need to calm down and if they ever do wake up that early i will just let them kind of like play i tell them to play quietly don't get out of your rooms until like seven so that's kind of, we did our first craft and now I'm gonna edit the vlog from yesterday. I tried editing it last night. This laptop is so old, I had it. I got it when I was still pregnant with Aviala, I think, for my last semester of college, for my last year of college. Yeah, I think I got it last year of college. I went to college for accounting. I have a bachelor's. I graduated with a bachelor's in accounting. I was gonna go further for a CPA, but then I kind of like rethought it. I started my master's. And the first semester and I was just, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it. I feel like if you're not going to give your all and be dedicated, then I feel like it's, it's a waste. Like you have to be committed. And I wasn't serious back then. Right now I would go back, but I don't know. Basically became a stay-at-home mom of three who does YouTube. Here we are. Kind of I was trying to like find something that I can do from home. So kind of started my YouTube channel. This is where we are at. <laughs> Fell into the world of lashes. DIY lashes accidentally stumbled and met, e met some great people online and um, it's been a fun ride. It's like a little get to know me sesh, but I've had this laptop for such a long time and it doesn't have a lot of storage on it. So if I edit more than one video at once, I run out of storage real quick. So my clips never finished uploading. It told me that I had no room, so I had to delete some stuff. I hate when it does that, but it's okay. So I'm gonna finish, um, so I'm gonna finish doing it now while the kids are kind of doing whatever. It is skincare time and on Wednesdays, it is December 1st now, but it's Vlogmas day two technically. I kind of like do this ahead of one day ahead so that I can edit and get it up. If you haven't watched the first Vlogmas, I kind of mentioned that in that video. And I do, the, I, I'm, gonna, I'm, do, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna try to do the eye patches every single day, 12 days of masking. So this is gonna be day two of 12 for the patches. And then every Wednesday I like to do micro at-home microdermabrasion. So I'm gonna clean my face. I have my at-home microdermabrasion here, which I actually really like. And then I go in with my serums after that and kind of have like an at-home facial session every single Wednesday in the morning you could do this at night i personally like to do this in the morning but i was going to i was heating up my pmd cleanser here which i usually will turn on the heating side put my serums on here and then i noticed it's kind of looking kind of funky and i'm like i gave it a close inspection and i'm like what is going on it looks like this whole you see how that all of this has turned silver so i started looking at it and some parts even look like they're peeling and I'm like, whoa, that is not okay. Like, this is the 24 karat gold one, gold plated, and it is the most expensive one. And for something that's this expensive, I think I, I paid 174 on 173, $74 for it on sale. Oh, it's still on sale. And I'm thinking for almost $200 for it to do that, like that's not okay. And I feel almost feel bad promoting it because goodness forbid somebody else has the same experience. Luckily, it's still 
like I'm still able to oh the other ones are not on sale that kind of sucks Jeez. so the Black Friday deals are over so I can't even get the other one on sale but this one is still 174 175 um, it works great obviously the cleansing side works great it's just that this is throwing me off like it shouldn't be fading and peeling like that like that's just not okay to me so I already printed a return label I have to package it and return it so I'm not going to use that in today's video but usually I love using it every single morning and I have genuinely loved having that warming technology but they do have other devices with that same warming technology like this um, quartz one here they have one with quartz they have one with sage so I feel like those are stones, so they shouldn't peel. So I'm probably gonna invest in that one instead. Sucks that they're not on sale. I might wait for them to go on sale, but I love I love the warming side so much. This is nice and clean, but I don't wanna jinx myself, knock on wood, but I haven't really had issues with dry patches like I used to. Like my dry patch situation used to be pretty intense. So, so far, it really seems like it's doing a good job exfoliating that top layer of dead skin for me because that's something that I really struggled with and that's the main reason why I invested in it. So now that my skin is dry, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and there are instructions when you buy it on which direction to go. You just kind of like hold your skin taut and just glide it across your face. You don't want to hold it in one spot for too long and you don't want to keep going over the same spot. As tempting as it is to keep exfoliating, um, just follow the instructions and it takes time to see results in my opinion with skincare especially, things like this. So just be consistent. Instead of me going to get facials once a month, this has just been a better investment. Although those are great and I love hydro facials and things. Um, I kind of see almost the same results with this. So I love that they created like an at-home device. So that's what I'm going to do today. This is what it sounds like. Very easy to clean. You just literally glide. My skin is pretty sensitive by the way. So it turns pink and red right away. I like to do that every Wednesday you just unscrew the cap very easy to clean and then these last a few uses there's two sensitive two moderate and then two like extreme ones I'm still using the sensitive ones as soon as I go through both of them then I'll switch over to the moderate and see but you don't want to like just jump right into it as tempting as it can be and then right after I go in with a toner I just found one on Amazon they had good reviews if you guys have any recommendations for good calming toner definitely let me know down below this is just like literally a random one I found on Amazon and then this is when I would use my PMD cleanser warming side and apply my serums but I'm gonna clean that and return it I'm glad I kept the return box that's something that I usually always re throw out the packaging but lately I've been keeping things because just in case you never know so I'm gonna do my serums if you watch the first vlog I mentioned that I'm getting a new espresso machine Super excited for that, and it's supposed to come in early. It's supposed to come in today. I'm not sure what time UPS is gonna deliver it. I feel like the times always change, especially with the holidays. You just never really know. And now, eye patch time. This is eye patch number two. I mean, so far they seem good. They're expensive, so I don't know. We'll have to see with the 12 days. I can't, it's hard to tell with eye patches, I feel like, unless you have particular concerns like puffiness. If you want, you can keep these in the fridge and they help with puffiness, they feel nice, they're moisturizing, and they have great skin benefits. And we have some makeup on. Finished editing and uploading the vlog. It is uploading as we speak, got all the links, everything going. My husband's working in the kitchen. We're like slowly, there's like little things that we have to finish around the house. Little things that most people won't notice, but they need to get done. And currently it's these two spotlights in the kitchen. Lord have mercy. We were debating putting, um, when we first moved in, what are those called? Pendants, like pendants. But I'm so over the pendants. It doesn't work with our kitchen. I feel like it just looks so cheesy. I already wired everything and the switch was already installed. But. So you can't just leave it. So we had to do something. So just did these two little itsy bitsy little spotlights. And I feel like that's the best. It's gonna take a little bit to get used to, but pendants, I don't know, it just feels like, I just don't like the look of pendants in here. I don't, don't like how it's gonna look. So this is what we decided for now. Okay, let's see. Okay, hold on. I gotta turn it off first. Let's see if the lights. You know what switch it is? It's by the yes. swing. Do I turn it on? Did you do it? Yeah. Hold on. Oh, it works. 
Those are the weddings that they do like a secondary or a 10 year wedding anniversary. Is it a 10 year? No. Uh, no, you can it's do like 10 year. Getting remarried or something. What's the right term? For yeah, that? you're renewing your vows. Yeah, there you go. We're going to have a clean, clean up, up, clean up. You still have a magic eraser? Yeah, why? Well, we should all ask each other. Why is there a hole? That's the thing. I kind of blindly, I was too lazy to go in the attic. I'm like, this are you is serious? Where I calculated based on their, this one. That was off by like one inch. That's like two inches. Two it's inches. like a random hole in the ceiling. We are finally in the car, got out much later than I wanted to, it's already almost 1 o'clock and I feel like during the holidays the UPS store gets crazy. I already packaged my box, I'm going to go return it and then hop in to the local grocery store, I have a Viana with me, hop into the local grocery store to return, to return, to buy the coffee beans. UPS dude has not arrived yet so hopefully he comes before it's too late so we can it says your package is on its way. It's going to be delivered by 9 p.m. Yeah, it gets dark at like 6, so I might be um, late by the time it comes, but it's okay. I'm so excited. All right, kids are sleeping. It is 7 o'clock already. I honestly do not think, by the way, the uh, wood stove makes a lot of noise, so you can probably hear it in the background. I honestly do not think the coffee maker is coming today. So sad. It says by 9 p.m. It's only 7, but I don't know. I highly doubt it. It's just so late, so... I'm thinking, you ever get like hungry but you already had dinner at 5 so you want something? I think I'm going to make myself a green juice, maybe work out. I love using the Fit On app. So I think I'm going to make myself a green juice. I love juicing. Let me gather all my stuff. I'm going to do one of my favorites is kale, lemon, ginger, apple. And I feel like there's one more. I'm missing something. We don't have kale right now so I'm going to use spinach a green apple, celery, ginger, and lemon, and it's actually really good. It was the night of Vlogmas, and all through the house was the smell of my Nespresso because my coffee machine never came in today, <laughs> which is fine. I definitely anticipated this vlog to kind of center around that, so there's not going to be much content since there's going to be no unboxing, revealing, sharing. I um, hope you guys enjoyed whatever clips I have nonetheless. I know today's vlog was not as interesting, but that's okay. We'll start off tomorrow. Hopefully, it'll come in tomorrow. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.